Hello everybody, welcome to Dark Souls 1, Prepare to Die Edition. So I've played through Dark Souls 1 probably about 4 or 5 times, but I have not done any of the DLC. So I thought I'd play through it for our Dark Souls 3 hype. I will be playing all the... I'll do all the boxes. And I'll figure things out. I don't know what type of character I want to build yet because I've done a good bit of variety on and Dark Souls 1. Yes. Oh god, no, I don't need it. So, oh, is okay. oh, how's it? That's how you do it. Oh. It doesn't work. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, well. Let's just call you... Yeah, that's what we're gonna call you. Magic. Yes, how did I... There. Let's figure out we're going with sorcerer. Alright. Yes. We'll do that. Black magic. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and was fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. 
winds, mighty gods, build a heart as constants. Witches weaved great firestorms. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. So we're probably gonna just play through this normally. If there is any farming or any of that stuff. Yes, I might come indeed. Down. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. to Cell Simulator 2016, where we will be sitting in the cell and looking at the light, and then back to sitting in the cell. And now it's time to look at the light. Well, you good, sir, have ruined our schedule.
Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. Goodbye. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. I liked it when I first Only played it, but... in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. When I first played it, it just came out. To was... leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Beat the asylum demon, Lord out the door, fell out through the floor. Uh, like right through the ground, which really upset me. I'll just go through that more and most of these things to show you, to show everybody. What is a weird symbol? Oh, it's the crab symbol. Add a tomb and dough. I'll try my hardest not to skip any dialogue with NPCs. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? 
Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that it won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Blacksmith over there is the one that lets mouths moves. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. Hello, Petrus. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. With us. Yeah, Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here. Take this, as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, yay, copper. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? No, would it please That me? is a shame. You offended me. Is it? 
pro in this game like there is in the well, a trading pro in this game like the Dark Souls 2. And there's one in Demon Souls as well. But not Bloodborne. There's an NPC called Pro, but it's not a merchant or anything like that. Or like the actual crows. Demon, not fight Hollow or Hobble yet. But I will see you all in the next episode.